Hey guys, so recently, both on here and Instagram and Facebook and whatever, a lot of people have been telling me to make a new collection tour. Trust me, I would love to make a new collection tour, but honestly, my collection is so big at this point that the video would be at least an hour long, and I really don't think you guys want to sit through an hour of me talking about plastic horses. So I figured a nice happy medium would be to do a tour of the cabinet. Um, I actually have four cabinets technically, but this is like the granddaddy of all cabinets. Pardon the truck. Yeah, this thing is about five and a half feet tall by about five feet wide. Uh, holds over a hundred horses. Everything in here is original finished briar except for one custom. Put this in last fall. Um, it's been a huge help to kind of organize my horses a bit because it was getting very cluttered in my room. So to my parents' dismay, they're kind of leaking into the rest of the house now. So that's that. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to give you a tour of this baby. Um, five shelves, glass, mirrors all, all around in the back. Um, so let's get started. All right, so here we're going to start at the top of the cabinet. Pardon the dust, it's a, I need to dust these horses and the top. But anyways, these are just a few classics. Um, I didn't want to put anything too, too heavy on the top, just in case, because, I mean, it is glass. But at the same time, I wanted some display space, so I have a few little classics. Come on, guys. So first we have the Black Beauties. And from left to right in this shot, I think his name is Dakota. He was a uh, Walmart special run. He came with a deer. Then there's the Classics War Horse Joey, uh, the original Classics Black Beauty. I believe this one, the Red Roan, is called like the Part Arabian. He's from like the mid 2000s. He was just a regular run. And next to him is one of the uh, Bonanza horses from Tractor Supply. I think that's Sport. Yeah, I'm not a Bonanza fan. Sorry. And then next to him we have Goliath Boy from the Dreamer set. So over here are three ruffians. So you have Buck from the Bonanza set, the um, regular run Chestnut Appaloosa, and Light Buttermilk Dunn from the Sport Horse Family set. And over here we have the Duchesses, or Duchess I if you prefer. Alright, so from left to right, but she's a Walmart special run. She came with the Black Wolf Cheyenne, I think. Um, the Light Grey is from the late 80s Tricaner gift set. Uh, Dapple Grey next to her is from the gift set, the play set with the uh, Make the Halter in the Blanket. Um, next to her is another one of the Bonanza horses. I think that's supposed to be Chubb. Um, then the original Duchess and the Blue Roan is Wild Blue. And then we just have a couple of the Classics Quarter Horse mares. Uh, on the left, the Dapple Grey paint is Platinum. She was a Fun Days special run. And then to the right of her. Appaloosa is from the Tractor Supply Prince Plowdit set. And then we just have my three hobos. I actually really love Hobo. I think he's really cute. He's dynamic. He's a little messed up, but I'd love to get more of him. So we have the uh, Passing Through Time. I believe he's phase, it's phase one and three. I'm missing two. Um, the two is like a semi-leopard Appaloosa, so I have the blanket and then the leopard. And then next to him is the Pony Express. Alright, so now we're actually getting the contents of the cabinet. This is the first shelf at the very top. Uh, this shelf is a little bit lower than the other ones, so it's reserved for the molds that are kind of a little bit more down low versus some of the bigger ones, so we're just going to keep going from left to right. So far left, the two flashes. The one on the left is the matte Silver Bay Stonely Surprise from Briarfest 2012. And next to him is the Fun with Model Horses Dapple Grey regular run. And then three Smarties, uh, you have Secretariat on the far left, Rushmore, the 2007 Briarfest special run in the middle, and then Wind Talker, the Collector's Choice Edition from 2007. Now we can get started on my lovely Nakotas, my babies. Um, my other babies besides the winter songs, you'll see them very soon. So left to right here, we have Canarita. He was the 2011 Mid-State special run. Um, I had to order him for Merle King because I do not live in the Midwest, I'm on the East Coast, so we don't get them around here. And then next to him we have Burbank, the Velvet Rope Event Special Run from 2008, 100 made. 
Next to him is the Connoisseur Moon Warrior. Surprisingly, he is my only Connoisseur horse, believe it or not. Um, yeah, he's he was like my first big grail that I got. Him and Burbank. Uh, next to him, Moon Warrior, is Fall in Love. He was a 2011 web special. I want to say they made 250 or 350 of him. He's like a bay with uh, leaves on him. He's cute. Um, next to him, Shiveo, the 2008 collector's choice, the Donalino. Um, next to him, Batson Belfry. He was the uh, 2011, I think he was technically classified as a uh, flagship special run. The rest of the Nakotas, we have the original Blue Roan Nakota. Um, next to him is Sundance, the 2007 Briarfest special run, and unfortunately he took a pretty bad tumble so I need to get him fixed. He has some rubs now which sucks. And then next to him we have two Isadora Cruces. The one on the left is actually pretty interesting. She is the master sample um, found at the Briar store at Briarfest 2011. And what a master sample is, Briar actually explained this to us when I was at the Big Easy Bash a few months ago. When Briar sends models to China for them to be painted, before they start doing full-blown production, they'll send them back a few sample pieces from the factory just so they figure out if they're getting it right. So a lot of these horses for the past few years have actually ended up in the Briar store, and they're usually bubble wrapped with a hang tag. So that's the master sample for Isadora Cruz that was sent before she went into full-fledged production. And to the right of her, you just have the regular run Isadora Cruz. So, second shelf down of the cabinet is for my Othello's. Hooray. Uh, obviously, he's my favorite mold. I don't have all of them. I'm missing three original finish models, which is Silverado, and then the Glossy Fox Valley Oliver and Mariah's Boone. But besides that, all your original finish models are here. So, I believe I have 21. Um, not all of them are shown here. I also have the Porcelain Marites, and then I have an extra inbox Mariah's Boone from Briarfest 2012. So let's get started with these guys. So far left, obviously, is the original Winter Song. And then we have Fox Valley Oliver. He was one of the first briars I bought when I first got back into collecting back in 2008. Uh, next to him is Saltire the Clydesdale from Briarfest 2008. I actually had him picked up. I was supposed to go to my first Briarfest in 2008, but it just didn't end up working out, so I had a pickup done for him. And the funny thing is, I almost didn't get him. So he's kind of a last minute wish list addition, and I'm so glad I got him. Uh, next to him we have Put on the Ritz. He is another Velvet Rope event special run from 2008. 100 made. He is to date my most expensive horse, but I also got a really good deal on him. and I paid about a third of what he usually goes for. So, I mean, he was expensive, but it was worth it. And next to him we have Silver Snow, the Silver Filigree web special. I think 200 of him were made. He doesn't come up for sale nearly as often as he used to. And I had someone offer him a really good price, um, so I snapped him up, and I'm really glad I get it again, because then he goes for at least twice of what I paid, usually more. Um, but he's really gorgeous. And, let's see. Right, we're going to start on the Four Seasons. I have all eight, four Matt and four Glossy. Um, so we have Matt and Glossy, Spring and Summer. Um, the Glossy is actually one of my best show horses. He won a reserve championship at Briarfest 2000. 12 and the mat just kind of hangs around but they're really cool so that's okay all right so continuing with treasure hunt fellows we have uh matt and glossy spring and summer and as you can see i actually have three falls um so there's the mat and there's two glossies um i had a glossy fall and then i found a really nice one with like really nice shading so it was on sale and it was like all right screw this i'm gonna buy him so that's why I have three balls. <laughs> and now over here uh, is the rest of them. So we have the uh, Redemption models, Winter, in both matte and glossy. I'm actually surprised I found one of the glossy Winters for such a good price. I think I paid $50 for them because I have not seen very many of them. Uh, next to him, the Palomino, is Pomplamoose. He was the last Just About Horses subscriber special in 2011. Uh, he's really pretty, nice, like, kind of blonde Palomino in glass. Glass makes everything better. And the last three, so we have Mariah's Boone. He was the 2012 Briarfest Celebration Horse. Probably my favorite Celebration Horse to date, him and Alvaroso. Um, beautiful horse in real life. Um, and then next to him is the new guy, SBH Phoenix, that just came out this year. 
Uh, yeah, he's really nice. A lot of the ones I've seen have like really bad kind of candy striping in their mane with the gray and white, but his came out pretty good. So I'm very happy with him. And then the last one is actually a custom. This is the only custom in this entire cabinet. He is a dapple blue. Uh, I forget who painted him. Uh, I got him a while back, but he's just like this gorgeous airbrushed dapple blue. I do want to kind of get more customs on the Winter Song mold just because I can fill the gap in my heart that is left by Silverado and the two glossy prize models. <laughs> So, moving on to the middle shelf. Alright, so we're gonna start on the left, obviously. We have my two Roxies. I'm actually not a huge Roxy fan. I'm not really a Western horse person, and obviously she's very Western, but I do like her with the English mane and tail and the uh, banded mane and tail. So, on the left we have Constellation. I actually quite like her. The uh, 2012 Mid-State Special Run. Um, I got her from Rural King, like Canarita, but she was on sale for like 17 bucks, so good deal. And next to her is Roxy. Just the regular old Roxy. She was my first Briarfest celebration horse, so obviously I keep her because she's sentimental. <sighs> Set of red stallions. Um, we have the Just About Horses 50th anniversary Copenhagen, 750 made in 2005. He was actually my first special run model. I got him. Oh god, I was probably 10 when I got him. Yeah, I was like nine or 10, and he was like my prized horse for the longest time. We had I had him in a curio and everything like my little curio you'll eventually you've seen it in some of the other ones but yeah he's like my prized possession and then the copenhagen was the one i really wanted so lucked out uh next to him is diamond jubilee the 60th anniversary special from ryer the silver filigree uh 2010 made in 2010 um and then in between them is duke he is a tractor supply special run in 2007. He's one of the uh, John Wayne horses. And next to him is Ryman, the Briarfest 2013 special run. 2013 was the first year I didn't go since 2008, so I had some pickups done. He was probably my favorite out of all the special runs. And next to him is Chibosco. I probably pronounced that wrong. But I also have his daughter Caravel, which you'll see in a little while on a couple shelves down. And then we have my four five gators. I love the five gator mold. I actually prefer him to the side of what's dying you just saw. But alas, I do not have very many. So the four we have is the farthest is Valiant Bay. He was a Toys R Us special run in I think 2003. Early 2000s. He's like a nice shaded kind of dunny bay. But he shows well for me until he got a thing like a goober on his back. So that sucks. <laughs> but anyways. And there's the uh, the Pinto, I think it's just called like Pinto Saddlebird Stallion or whatever. He's from the mid-90s, just a simple black and white Pinto. Uh, next to him, Briar for Special Run Gala from 2009, the uh, Tortuga pattern. He's probably my favorite transparent horse they've ever done. It's kind of the blues and the greens and the fact that it's a five gator makes everything all the more sweeter. And next to him is C.H. Sprinkles, the recent regular run, uh, who was changed for a mare for this release. Um, she has like cute bi eyes and stuff, I like her. Nicely shaded, cute horse. Alright, now we have my three smart chicks. Smart Chick Elena is another mold I really don't like that much, but there's a few that I really like, which are these three, maybe a few more. But these are the ones I currently have in my possession, obviously. So left we have Dollar the Tractor Supply Special Run. He's probably the hardest to find special run from Tractor Supply. Between them, big checks to cash. I'd love to track a glossy one down of him someday, but not anytime soon, because they're a little bit expensive. And to the right of him is the Ginger Horse Silver Bay in Glossy, 500 made in 2008. I think I got him at the same time. Big checks to cash. Um, love his color and it just pops with the gloss. So I have five weather girls. I actually do not have Rainbow because I could not track down Stupid Thunderstorm for the life of me until after the treasure hunt was over, but I eventually got one. So far left we have Partly Cloudy. And then we have Mont Tremblant. She was a web special in 2011. I think she was another 250 made. Uh, another silver filigree. I love my silver filigree. She's really pretty. It just works really well on her. Um, and in the middle is probably my favorite, Jasmine. The uh, the Bago and Grey from Briarfest 2011. Somewhere around 1100 were made of her. Uh, she shows really well. She was a top five in the region a few years back for Arabians. 
Next to her is Sunny the Palomino, and then finally we have Thunderstorm the Shaded Black Grey, who is absolutely drop dead gorgeous, and I'm still pissed I could not get her until after the treasure hunt was over. But knowing my luck, I would have ended up with a Matt Pintalusa Weather Girl thing, which is ugly. So on this next shelf, we have my Cleveland Maze. Cleveland Maze is another one of my favorite molds, probably my top three with uh, Nakoda and Othello. And I currently have nine of these guys, and they're very big, and they take up a lot of space, but I love them to death. <laughs> So without further ado, um, the far left is the original release, Cleveland Bay. Um, next to him we have O'Leary's Iris Diamond, probably one of my favorite regular run releases in recent years. But next to him is one of my most treasured horses, which is the glossy version from Briarfest 2010, the champion prize. Uh, one of my best show horses. He's gotten multiple championships and a grand championship. He kicks ass basically. Love him to death. Um, next to him is Tumbridge Wells, the 2012 Briarfest special run. He's on the roached version. Alright. So next to him we have Limerick, the Irish Draft. He was uh 2008 Briarfest special run. I actually did not get him picked up. I purchased, purchased him at Briarfest a few years ago for a really good price. And next to him is from JC Penny, 2008 special run, the Palomino. Next to him we have Trooper, the current regular run, another roached main, Cleveland Bay. Uh, next to him, Chicory. He was a Big Easy Bash special run a few months back. I was so happy that I was able to purchase him outright instead of paying all the crazy eBay prices for him. He's a like kind of he's a little bit of a varnish roan, but not really. Um, Bay blanket Appaloosa, and he is just drop dead gorgeous, and I can't wait to show him. And moving on to some more thoroughbred molds. Um, these are my ruffians. They take up so much freaking space because of that stupid base. But I actually, I actually quite like ruffian. She's cute. Um, so far, this we have the original release ruffian, the dark bay. Um, next to her, we have Puku, who was I think two, the 2008 mid state special run. I got him at Briarfest a few years ago for I think 20 bucks. And he was also changed to a gelding for this release, like Scallywag the Connoisseur. Otherwise, all of them have been mares. Right, so the rest of the ruffians, we have Rachel Alexandra, the uh, portrait model, obviously. Um, then we have the web special Luna, who is pretty friggin' awesome. Like, the whole concept is kind of tacky, but sometimes tacky is good. She has the uh, all the wolves running across her, and she also glows in the dark. And then next to her, we have Rags to Riches, another portrait model, and she has the, uh, the, the uh, sash and everything. So she's cute. <sighs> Finally, over here. We have my Loves and Glories, and also a couple bouncers. I have three LGs. Uh, we have Zenyatta poking her head out right there. Uh, next to her is Reflector, who is a 2007 Jaw special run, 1500 made. And he's one of the cool guys where his paint changes color. Um, and then next to him is Tinseltown from Briarfest 2010. I think so 1050 or 1100 were made of him. Maybe more. And then. Two little bouncers in front of him. Bouncer's okay. He's cute, but he's kind of messy as far as confirmation. So in the back we have Brookside Pink Magnum. And in front of him we have Applejack, who was the 2009-2010 Collector's Choice. Um, he's like a flaxen chestnut and he's super cute. He actually shows well for me, even though he's kind of messed up. But that's okay. He's cute. This bottom shelf is going to get a little difficult because there's a lot going on down here. So each side I'm just kind of going to go back to front. There's pretty much rows of stuff. So on this side, on the very far back, I have all of my kind of costume pieces. So that's with dolls and tack. On the far left we have Paul Revere and Brown Beauty. I think 2500 were made of those. That was a mid-2000s thing. And... Next to them we have the Spanish Flamenco set, I believe it's pronounced, um, with the Dapple Great Legionario. He shows really well for me, but he's still a cute fellow. And next to them we have the Lifeguards of the Queen's Household Calvary. I think that was made about ten years ago. And then we have the Elegance Dressage, the Tack. I, have, I don't put it on the horse because the horse is A, I show him all the time, and B, he's also a very has very fragile paint. <laughs> So I don't want to take any chances, so I have the set on my extra body totalist. And over there we have the Indian Pony and Leody set. Um, the actual horse shows me really well, and I've showed the set at Briarfest a few times. 
in the Yusho, and it did okay. And then in front of these sets, it's mainly just my Wii Classics 1 but Stallion conga line. And then we also have Caravelle right there. So I'm not really going to go through these guys. It's a regular run, kids club, regular run, regular run, show special, regular run, and tractor supply special run, the paint, and that's it for them. Then we also have the, uh, the fire wagon. I'll show you guys the rest of that in a bit. Really awesome set, but of course when I got it, it was missing one of the head stalls. But I got it for free, so I couldn't really complain about it. But otherwise, I just, it's an awesome set. And then finally, at the bottom, we just have a few more foals. Uh, a couple vintage Lang foals. I have the Red Roan, and then also the Black Appaloosa, and a couple Ashleys. But anyways, there's the uh, Black Fun Foals prize, and also Elidore the Unicorn, and there's also a vintage Donkey. This side especially has a lot going on, so I'm going to try to go through this quickly. But here's the rest of the fire wagon. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the back, but there's a couple of classics rearing stallions. There's a per uh, pearly palomino and also the blue round appaloosa. Alright, so the fighters, we have Cole, who was a collector's edition. Then I have not one, but two vintage glossy Palomino Kings. This is both from the 1960s because I don't have a USA stamp. One's obviously a lot more yellow than the other, but the whiter one has broken leg. <laughs> so, you win some, you lose some. Um, and then the way back there, we have Chaparral. And then I also have an Alabaster King who is currently whitening in a window because he's a little yellow. And then the next row is just more ponies. Um, so everyone knows this is Henry, the Fjord. My two Hackney ponies, there's Heartland High Tech and then also Appy Days, the 2006 Spirefest special run. I think they made 1500 of her, they made a lot. Um, my two Misties, Jingles the Holiday Pony from 2001 and Misty and also Full Stormy because you can't have Misty without the Stormy. And one of my more recent loves, the Canarang Welsh Pony. I have the late 70s Chestnut. And then I also have the 1997 Jaw Special Run Sassafras. Here's my four Midnight Tangos. I have the Holiday Pony thing from like 2010. I don't remember. All I know is that she has a nice red mark on her side from that ugly blanket. So thanks, Briar. Um, next to her, Boone's Little Buckaroo. And then the more recent regular ones. Sorry about that. Uh, Magic and Hamlet. Then the last little guy in here is this guy, the uh, Classics Quarter Horse Full from one of the older Fun Full sets. Um, he's probably my best photo shower. He just, he kicks ass. So that is pretty much it for the cabinet. Um, any questions, just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Obviously none of these horses are for sale. Please do not ask, yada yada yada. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Sorry for not really updating my collection that much recently, but I figured this would be kind of a good taste without overloading you guys with like an hour and a half of video. Thank you!